Victoria, Alexandrina Victoria. May 24, 1819. January 22, 1901, was Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland from June 20, 1837 until her death in 1901. Her reign of 63 years and 216 days was longer than that of any previous British monarch and is known as the Victorian era. It was a period of industrial, political, scientific, and military change within the United Kingdom, and was marked by a great expansion of the British Empire. In 1876, the British Parliament voted to grant her the additional title of Empress of India. Victoria was the daughter of Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathair, the fourth son of King George III and Princess Victoria of Saxe-Coburg-Saalfeld. After the deaths of her father and grandfather in 1820, she was raised under close supervision by her mother and her controller, John Conroy. She inherited the throne aged 18 after her father's three elder brothers died without surviving legitimate issues. Victoria, a constitutional monarch, attempted privately to influence government policy and ministerial appointments. Publicly, she became a national icon who was identified with strict standards of personal morality. Victoria married her first cousin Prince Albert of saxe coburg and Gotha in 1840. Their children married into royal and noble families across the continent earning Victoria the sobriquet the grandmother of Europe and spreading hemophilia in European royalty. After Albert's death in 1861, Victoria plunged into deep mourning and avoided public appearances. As a result of her seclusion, British republicanism temporarily gained strength, but in the latter half of her reign, her popularity recovered. Her golden and diamond jubilees were times of public celebration. Victoria died aged 81 in 1901 at Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. The last British monarch of the House of Hanover, she was succeeded by her son Edward VII of the House of saxe coburg and Gotha. Birth and Family Victoria's father was Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathair the fourth son of the reigning king of the United Kingdom, George I.I. Until 1817, the only legitimate grandchild of George I.I. was Edward's niece, Princess Charlotte of Wales, who was the daughter of George, Prince Regent who would become George I.V. Charlotte's death in 1817 precipitated a succession crisis that brought pressure on the Duke of Kent and his unmarried brothers to marry and have children. In 1818, the Duke of Kent married Princess Victoria of Saxe-Coburg-Saalfeld, a widowed German princess with two children Carl 1804-1856 and Theodore 1807-1872 by her first marriage to Emi Carl, second prince of Leoningen. Her brother Leopold was Princess Charlotte's widower and later the first king of Belgium. The Duke and Duchess of Kent's only child, Victoria, was born at 4.15 a.m. on May 24, 1819 at Kensington Palace in London. Victoria was christened privately by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Charles Manners Sutton, on June 24, 1819 in the Cupola Room at Kensington Palace. She was baptized Alexandrina after one of her godparents, Tsar Alexander I of Russia, and Victoria after her mother. Additional names proposed by her parents Georgina or Georgiana Charlotte and Augusta were dropped on the instructions of Kent's eldest brother, the Prince Regent. That birth, Victoria was fifth in the line of succession after the four eldest sons of George I.I. George, Prince Regent later George I.V. Frederick, Duke of York, William, Duke of Clarence later William I.V. and Victoria's father, Edward, Duke of Kent. The Prince Regent had no surviving children, and the Duke of York had no children. Further, 
Both were estranged from their wives, who were both past childbearing age, so the two eldest brothers were unlikely to have any further legitimate children. William and Edward married on the same day in 1818, but both of William's legitimate daughters died as infants. The first of these was Princess Charlotte, who was born and died on March 27, 1819, two months before Victoria was born. Victoria's father died in January 1820, when Victoria was less than a year old. A week later her grandfather died and was succeeded by his eldest son as George IV. Victoria was then third in line to the throne after Frederick and William. William's second daughter, Princess Elizabeth of Clarence, lived for 12 weeks from December 10, 1820 to March 4, 1821, and for that period Victoria was fourth in line. The Duke of York died in 1827, followed by George Ivy in 1830, the throne passed to their next surviving brother, William, and Victoria became heir presumptive. The Regency Act 1830 made special provision for Victoria's mother to act as a regent in case William died while Victoria was still a minor. King William distrusted the Duchess's capacity to be regent, and in 1836 he declared in her presence that he wanted to live until Victoria's 18th birthday, so that a regency could be avoided. Please subscribe the 